can we talk about these numbers? The deal is more than 30% larger than the $330 million deal Bryce Harper signed with the Phillies. Well, he's more than 30% better than Bryce Harper. Damn! Uh, is Trout worth it? Yeah, he's probably going to outplay the contract. I, I think there's a really good chance that happens. People understand, Mike Trout, since he was a rookie, he's 26 years old now. He's already, if his career ended now, he's a Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. Right now. Right now. And first ballot. And, and he started as a rookie having one of the greatest, if not the greatest, age 20 season ever in baseball. Mm -hmm. And then same thing with age 21, 22, 23, 24. 20. Every single year, he has one of the, if not the best season ever for a player his age. You know what that means? By the time you get to a certain age, you're the best player ever. Tough to be better than Babe Ruth, who also was one of the great pitchers and one of the great pressure pitchers of all time. Then again, Babe Ruth didn't play center field. Like Pete, Mike Trout, guys, started out that way, and he keeps getting better mm -hmm. as his body is changing. You know, you get older, you get a little slower, a little bigger, a little stronger, mm -hmm. yet his base stealing percentages are as good as ever. His power's gotten better. His arm has gotten stronger. He's worked on arm strength from the outfield, the one weakness of his game. He doesn't have a really strong arm. He kind of does now. He's a great center fielder. He's a great base runner. He's a great hitter. His MVP finishes since his, since his career began, 2-2, two, 1-2, two, one, two, one, it should have been one, 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 one. Cabrera didn't deserve any of them, and he had great seasons, but people were caught up in triple crown and RBIs. Trout was better than Cabrera every season. The fourth place finishes because he missed a lot of the season, still finished fourth, finished second last year. He's basically the best player in baseball and one of the greatest of all time for every age of his career. He's only 26. 12 seasons takes him to age 38. He might sign another contract after that, depending on he, how he ages. A broad base of skills ages better. So he has good strike zone judgment. He has a quick bat. He hits for power. He draws walks. He steals bases. He plays defense. All that will tend to age well because he can develop ultimately into the kind of player that can play first base in DH, right? But he might still mess around and be an outfielder at the age of 38. This We may be watching, maybe, the greatest player in the history of baseball. And the richest. And he deserves it. He's got a contract on the table that's about to pay him nearly half a billion dollars. Yeah. And I challenge you to find anyone that says he's not worth it. He's that great. He's that great. And he's only 26, only 26 27 years of age. This guy, and, and see, here's where the $430 million makes sense. Not just for the, Mets, the things that Max elocuted and all of us know it because he's that superb that anybody that knows sports knows what he brings to the table. But it's also because Monty Machado just signed for $300 million and, and, and Bryce Harper just signed for $330 million. When you have those guys making that money, no one would, no disrespect to them, but no one would confuse them for being in the class of Mike Trout. And if you go from baseball park to baseball mm -hmm. park, team to team, all right, it doesn't matter where you go. You don't have to bring up Machado. You don't have to bring up Bryce Harper. You don't have to bring up any of that. You go anywhere you go. Talk to players who played this game. Talk to players who are playing this game. Mike Trout is the first name that will come up about today's players. It's universal. There's no disputing any of this stuff. And so when you look at it from that perspective, yeah. you understand why the Angels felt the need mm -hmm. to do this. Nice but, but I don't know if it's good for baseball that. because the Angels are a generic kind of baseball team. They're not the – like, if you're going to be in, in California, the Dodgers have a big brand. The Giants have a big brand. Obviously, the Yankees have the biggest brand, and they came close to drafting them, but the Angels had a compensation pick because the, the Yankees had signed mm -hmm. Teixeira and grabbed him right before the right. – could you imagine if he was in well, New York or in L.A. I, I playing feel, center field? I, I, I feel you on that, and I don't disagree, but what I would say to you is what is good for baseball and what is good for the world of sports is an organization stepping up – not just paying you for what you've done, what you've done, but projecting your value and saying, we don't give a damn. There is no way in hell that we need to be the organization that lost this guy. You don't lose a Mike Trout. Right. You do whatever you can. And that's, you know what? And by the way, it's not, just good for, it's not just good for baseball. It's not just good for sports. It's good for business. People who have a high-end value that deliver the goods, mm -hmm. you take no, care the of them. You don't lose them. He still has to hit in the postseason. He hasn't done that yet.